All right, it's time now to talk food. Today, we're going to be making something super summery, light, and tasty. Grace Vallow of Tastefully Grace is here now to show us how to make a healthy green goddess salad. Hi, Grace. Hello, guys. It's great to see you. So the first time I had a green goddess salad was at Panera. Have you guys had their green goddess? I have, and I've ordered the green goddess, and then I see it everywhere, the green goddess dressing. First of all, yeah, what is, is it green a dressing? goddess? Is it a dressing, Grace? Yeah, so it's it's a dressing. It's usually sour cream or mayo based or a combination of the both with a bunch of herbs mixed into it. So it's usually a pretty unhealthy dressing. But today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really simple green goddess dressing and salad and a dressing that's really, really healthy. Instead of sour cream and mayo, we're going to be using Greek yogurt. So it's really, really healthy. Are you guys ready? Yeah, yeah I like absolutely. that much I better love Greek anyway. yogurt, exactly. Oh, yeah. So we're going to start off with the actual salad itself. So I have some baby kale here. I like baby kale instead of using regular kale. Kale's really traditional in Green Goddess, but I don't like kale that's like so dry. I like baby kale. It's a little bit more tender. And to it, we're going to add some cucumber. And the cucumber is just going to add a nice crunch. And then I have some yellow cherry tomatoes. And I like yellow cherries over just like your classic cherry tomato because it's a little bit more like mild and sweet and juicy. And then typically in your green goddess salad, you're going to get bacon. But instead of using just regular bacon, I have here some turkey bacon that I just crisped up. Have you guys had turkey bacon before? Yes, I have, and I love delicious. it. And you can actually get it, like I think the Applegate Farms and all the, some of them have already pre-cooked too, so if you're just doing it quickly. Ooh, I actually didn't know that. Next time I'm gonna have to look for that. Yeah. It takes another step out of it. Yeah. So you can also just like completely opt out of the whole bacon thing if you just wanna keep this vegetarian, but I mean, come on, bacon. <laughs> so uh, next step is some pickled onion. So in your Panera Green Goddess or in a lot of Green Goddesses, you're going to get pickled onion. So I just have some sweet onion here that I thinly sliced. And to it, all you have to do is just add some red wine vinegar and then just a little bit of water. And the water is just going to kind of thin out and mellow out the vinegar so it's not so assertive. And you're just going to let this pickle for just a few minutes while you're making your dressing and they're gonna turn bright pink and just so beautiful. So that's all for the salad. We're gonna work on the dressing here. And as I said, the dressing starts off with some Greek yogurt. And I actually use non-fat Greek yogurt, which is so much healthier, no fat at all. I'm just gonna pop that in my blender if it will go in. <laughs> and then to it, I'm just going to add a little bit of garlic, garlic because why not absolutely everybody and then loves some garlic i have a little bit of fresh lemon juice and this is just going to add a nice little pop of freshness and tartness and then just a splash of white wine vinegar and that's just also going to add a little bit of tartness and then of course you know that yogurt is pretty thick so if you don't add any oil to it, it's just going to be too thick of a dressing. So I'm just going to add a little bit of olive oil to this. And of course, a little pinch of salt, a little pinch of pepper. And then we have to add our herbs, which makes Green Goddess what Green Goddess is. You have to add some herbs in there. So the three herbs that I like in Green Goddess are chives. That's number one. And I have some beautiful fresh chives here that I got from our little mini garden. So I'm extra proud of them. And then I have some Italian parsley here. And the Italian parsley is great because it's very kind of, it has like this lemony flavor to it, uh, which will really complement the lemon that we added to the dressing. So I'm just going to add a handful of that in there. And then the final step is tarragon. So mm, I love fresh tarragon and I feel like tarragon is so like underappreciated. Nobody uses tarragon. Everybody ignores it, but it's so delicious. It's very assertive. It has almost like a little bit of a like fennel anise taste, licorice taste to it, but in the dressing, it really mellows out and it's so delicious. Okay. So all you want to do is you just want to blend this all together until it's nice and smooth and uniform. And you're going to end up with this beautiful color. I mean, come on. It's Isn't gorgeous. it gorgeous? It's like mint <laughs> it really green. Can that stay in the fridge for a while? 
it can. It actually saves so well. I use it throughout the week. You can also use it as a dip, yeah. which sounds kind of weird, but like if you have any crackers on hand or bread or veggies, you can just dip the, um, the yeah. veggies right into the dressing and it's just divine. That's awesome, so, that's delicious. Yeah, so all you wanna do is just give this a nice little toss, toss it all together. You can add as much as you want. Go ahead and plate this guy. And then to the top, you can either just leave it as is. You don't need to add anything to the top or you can do a little bit of like poached salmon or just chilled salmon, or I have some hard boiled eggs and hard boiled eggs are really classic for a green goddess salad. Mm. And that's it. It's that's it. so simple, so healthy, and just honestly so much better than the Panera version. <laughs> Great, that looks absolutely spectacular. Thank you so much, it looks yummy. Make sure you bring some to the studio. Yes. Yes, it, it would be so good on this very hot day. It's Absolutely. Absolutely. Nice, refreshing mm -hmm. salad. Boiling. Thank you, Grace. We appreciate it. And maybe you want to stay inside. Yeah, thanks, Grace. If you want to stay inside and just uh, make something fresh like that, you can actually see the recipes, that one and more, at tastefullygrace.com. Follow her on Instagram and YouTube also at tastefullygrace. All right, coming up, join me right now at Johnson's Duck Pin Bowling Alley in Hamden, 2100 Dixwell Avenue. I'm going to be there till 5 o'clock. This evening, we're having a bowling party, and it's going to be a lot of fun. They have clowns and face painting and a whole bunch of stuff for the kids. So, And you're very competitive. And I'm very competitive, especially when it comes to my duck pen.